uh, in this case you do the same thing we are sliding and we are walking but in a lot of cases we are sliding now in open water we don't slide in open water the water shoe becomes uh, becomes a bit of a boat and uh, we, we're going to keep looking at our design before we get into the the building of the shoe the objective of our uh, Japanese ninja water shoe was not to go fast and it was not to go far it was mainly for stability for fishing and other related activities when the ninja was not in a war situation they were farmers and fishermen and and carpenters and other things just like regular regular normal people so the idea of this water shoe uh, in this case was not to go fast and not to go far and so we can maximize on something that we like to call the second part of boat design is stability so now we have enough uh, material to stand on in this case uh, it's uh, bamboo and in the early uh, 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 the, the, the Japanese water shoes they use uh, uh, ba bamboo now of course the Europeans might have used uh, pine wood dried out pine wood or, or logs or, or, or whatever so we, we got this kind of a bamboo and we're using this to uh, you know to float to you know to float on and while we're at it we are just gonna talk just a uh, real 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 brief briefly about the third leg of aquatic design and that's movement now in in the oriental world uh, uh, this uh, 